Welcome back, Family of Light. This is Davida with Medium of the Light Tarot. Scorpios. Scorpios. Welcome back. Let's see here. What we got? So we're going to do a love reading for you. If you are new here, welcome. If you are a returner, welcome back. This is the Star Seekers Tarot. I think that's what it is. <laughs> I'm like, hmm. So, oh, cards are flying. Looks like both of you were kind of stuck in a bit of mind fuckery. Sorry to swear, but that's what it looks like to me right here with this Eight of Swords and the Two of Swords here. So I guess that's kind of a warning. If you don't like swearing, then, you know, there's a kabillion other readers out there. Ooh, look, there is the lovers. All right. So Scorpios. Make sure you give this a thumbs up so it can get spread to other Scorpios that need to hear this healing message. There might be an extended, and I'll let you know if I feel like, you know, there's a lot more to say towards the end but we shall see <clears throat> this is you this is them and this is the storyline you've def definitely been in your own mind purgatory torturing yourself worrying you know, doing the worst case scenario in your mind. You're, and you're just kind of tying yourself up. You've got the Magician card here and the Six of Cups. So the Six of Cups indicates to me that someone's returning from the past, has already returned from the past, or is a soulmate twin flame. Definitely could be a twin flame soulmate here with the lovers. There's no doubt that this person is in love with you, and there's no doubt that you're in love with them with these two cards here. You wanna manifest this further. I feel like you're putting in the good vibes. You're doing what you need to do to make sure that the outcome that you want when you stop worrying and, you know, tying yourself up with all these negative thoughts. You know, and they too are at, at this place where they're trying to untangle themselves from their own stalemate. But you can tell that they're just about to take this blindfold off. So if they have been confused and they haven't been moving, it looks like they're going to. And that's interesting because I've had done readings with this deck a million, quadrillion, okay, not a quadrillion times, but lots. And I've never been called to look at that before. So you're, if your person has been stalemating, you know, they're definitely going to pull their head out and get moving because they know that they're in love with you and they want the world. They want to be happy. They don't want to be stuck in this mind, you know what, for too much longer. They want to feel the love. They want to feel the expansiveness of not only just your guys' love, but for them. I think that there's this person, your person is choosing to be happier. You know, and of course, this is what they want with you. I feel like your person's contemplating making a move towards you. I feel like they're just like recently coming out of Some situation that was really holding them back, but they're really manifesting it just like you are here. I feel like you. this is you. I feel like it's the energy of you. It's calm, collected. You're feeling, feeling prosperous. You know that what you're manifesting is coming to you. Money. 
partnership, your heart's desires. So there's a new beginning here. And, you know, see how both of you actually have been tortured in your minds. And then now the last card here is, you know, clearing the mind, letting the light in and see how the birds finally flying away. And before they were kind of at you and attacking you, both of you. That is beautiful. All right, so. For this Eight of Swords is the Page of Wands. Like you're really, you're taking, I feel like you're taking some bold actions to move things forward. Not only for this relationship, but for the two of you. I feel like both of you are positively moving in a really good direction. The Two of Cups with this Magician. So this is what you're manifesting. You know you're worthy. You know you have something to give. And you're willing to receive. And I think this might just be, like, I feel like this is like a brand new chapter for you guys. Yeah, really a brand new chapter. It's like you guys went some through some hard times. Not, let me see. It wasn't even really with the two of you that you had a hard time. It might have been a little bit, but it's more like each of you were coming with this baggage from the past, confusion, hurt, anger, whatever it was. Both of you had your own baggage to deal with. And it's like a portion of that journey or, you know, that, that cycle is done. And I just feel like you guys are at this really great place for you, the two of you to be able to come together. Now the Six of Cups comes the Queen of Swords. Yeah, I feel like in the past you, you weren't very open. You were keeping your heart locked away. See how that cup is locked away? Especially around this person here that you know is, you know, higher level twin flame soulmate. That's in the past. Here's the two of swords with the knight of pentacles. So it goes from stalemate to prosperity, walking in the sun. You know, like you're just dripping with prosperity. You guys, this is amazing. Comment down below, like what this situation is for you. Like, did both of you go some through some mild dark night of the soul? And then you guys are both on the other side or you guys are re reconnecting, reigniting. This is beautiful. I have decided I will be a Scorpio for the day. Actually, I think my Venus is Scorpio. Woo! All right. So page of pentacles with the world card here. Man, if, look, look at how this person is. There's something growing out of this mandala here and it's holding her up. You know, it's like light and airy, ready to offer. Ready to offer. With this lovers, this is wonderful. The three of wands, looking into the future, waiting for those ships to come in. If you guys have been in, not in contact for a little bit, you guys are about to be. Because this is just really, really, really great energy. You've got, you've got the ace of swords here and the ace of pentacles. So with this king of cups, yeah, and right here, offers. So there's offers coming. Your person's going to contact you if they haven't already, or if you're feeling like you want to contact them, this is a sign that either way, this is going, this is gonna go good. So we've got the queen of pentacles and the eight of pentacles. Both of you have been working hard, contemplating, clearing, healing, like, I just feel just wonderful, tremendous energy coming from you guys. Congratulations. With this Ace of Swords is the Hierophant. So you guys are definitely moving this up to the next level. Definitely. 
Let's see. Let's do some Romance Angels cards. Oop, taking that one. Worth waiting for. Divine timing was at work in this love in your love life. So if you guys were separated because of this, your guys' separate work you need to do, it was worth waiting for. It's still worth waiting for. And that divine timing, like you already knew, you know, it was at play at your love life. And I feel like that's something of the past. There is strong magnetic chemistry here. Well, and that's obviously true with this lover's card here. You know, twin flame, soulmate, coming back from the past here with the six of cups. I mean, looks pretty damn good to me. And the feeling of it is amazing. It's like, you guys are just like, both so fresh and um, renewed, rejuvenated. You know, what a wonderful place to be. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Very nice. I don't think this one's going to go into an extended because you guys are coming back together if you haven't already. If you're not in communication, you're just about to be. But both of you are ready for this. For this to move forward. Let's see. Make sure you give this a, a thumbs up so other awesome Scorpios who need to hear this healing message get it. So let's do some White Rose Guidance messages here. Give in for my taste, or for my touch, for my taste, and for my lust. Hell yeah. Mm hmm My whole body burns at the thought of you. Like seriously, if you guys haven't gotten back together, it's coming. Now, you know, and two, you're going to know if this is for you, if you're feeling, if you've been, yeah, you want to get back together with this person, but you've been feeling great on your own. It's interesting. I just felt something about like a festival. What's that, guys? Some of you met, they're specific, obviously, this is a very specific message. You guys met at a festival? had planned on going to it. There's something about a festival. So this one wanted to come out twice, so I'm taking it. So if your person, is it, who is it? For the person or, if this is for your person. They've gone into their divine masculine. And I hear you saying, finally. <laughs> finally. There's understanding. You guys had to both part ways to come back together. You know, and for maybe for some people it was a week. For other people it could be whatever. Whatever time frame. You know, physical time frame, right? You guys have gained understanding and awakening. But I just heard that you guys realize that you're better together. But... You're also better by yourself, which I think before both of you didn't know that. Both of you were not ready in any sort of way. There was grief that both of you needed to work through. Definitely marrying each other. Definitely marrying each other. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, Spirit, do you want to take this into the extended? I'm hearing no, not at this time. This is beautiful. It's very exciting energy. Your guys' energy is divinely clear and ready to go. And whatever the message was for the festival, if it was you, leave a message down below for me. Because I like getting those little confirmations because I'm nosy and I like to know because I'm like okay what's you know guides are telling me this and I don't know so you guys let me know so leave a comment down below if you haven't already please like 
and definitely subscribe if you have not. You'll be getting more of this in future days. And there's a ton of it in my playlist. All right, you guys. So thankful that you enjoyed joined me today. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, Scorpios.